Good morning. Happy Monday. Linnea here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. Welcome to the comfy chair, my comfy chair friends. Also, we've got some new subscribers. We've got Chanty Chanty. I think that's how you say it. C-H-A-N-T-I space C-H-A-N-T-I. And then we have Gazelle Eyes and we also have Popo Backyard Farm. Welcome to my channel, and thank you to those of you who have been here and are sticking with me. So, how was everybody's weekend? Was it great? Ours was fabulous. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, video bomb. You're not going to do that. Sorry. All right. So, um, we did go on our long motorcycle ride, a.k.a. bike ride. And it was 200 miles total. It was 100 miles down and 100 miles back up. We went down I-5 to the um, Arlington exit. It is at the 208, I think. I think it's at the 208. And then we took off east on the 530. And we kept, on the, kept going on the 530 until we got to Darrington. And we stopped off there at the Burger Barn. If you're ever in Darrington, go eat at the Burger Barn. Mmm, so good. Loved it. I had a veggie burger. So delicious. So good. That's a little far to go for a regular basis, but it was really delicious. And then um, hung out there for a little bit, met some other bikers and visited with them and then they took off and then we took off they went they were going back west on the 530 we continued east on the 530 to highway 20 at uh, rockport and then at rockport we took 20 west look out be careful and then we we were going to come back on highway 9 and go the back way to um to home Jeez. Well, welcome to my world with my cat. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm keeping it. I'm not even going to start over. Stop, would you please? Anyway, Highway 9, we were going to go, but then we need a gas. And <laughs> Jerry looked at the fuel price and he went, nope, I'm going to go over to the Cook Road. And so we went to the Cook Road. So we took a ride back north home. But it was a really good ride. Really, really good, safe Fun, happy ride. So that was that was Saturday, and then um, Sunday we just lazed around at home all day. In fact, I slept till eleven o'clock, and then Jerry he slept till noon yesterday. He never does that, but we were up late too. So anyway, it was great. I really we enjoyed it very much. So then yesterday, I I'm in a new test knit over on Yarn Pond. You know, I love that. And it is a sock pattern. And I, I chose my yarn yesterday. And I started them. And I knit them simultaneously. So I knit the cuff on one. And then I go to the other one. And I knit that cuff. Then I come and I knit the body of one and then I do the same thing on the other one and just back and forth, back and forth till the socks are at the toe, if it's a cup down. And then I graft them and they're finished. So no second sock syndrome. But this is, my, I'm using my flips for, or not flips. Are they flips? I know they say crazy trio on the box because I got them out of Germany. But, um. The, these are fabulous. I really prefer them over GPNs. And so this is the sock right now. And then I have to go back to the other one and knit the last two pattern repeats of these. And then I will be on the, the rest of the sock. So they're working up really fast. And the other one I'm doing magic loop on. Oh, here, I'll just show you. So one is being worked in the round with my, I know it's backwards, but it's Addy Crazy Trio. They are fabulous. And I just learned today that Haya Haya is making the same types of, um, or same style of knitting needles. So I'm going to check theirs out because they come in the sharps, which these are Haya Haya sharps. And I love my Haya Haya sharps. They are really sharp, I think. 
see if I can show you or not. You see how pointy that tip is? Amazing. Love it. Great for splitty yarn. Oh, and this yarn is by Lolo Did It. If you're into hand-dyed yarn like I am, she is a fabulous, fabulous dyer. I guess I should get it this way. So see, this one's just a little bit behind the other one. I've got three ridges, so I've got two more to go. And then um, it's Blue Jean Baby on her squishy sock. Oh, yuck. It's Blue Jean Baby on her squishy sock. I don't know what I got on my finger. It's disgusting, and it makes me mad. I can't get it off. Okay, so there's that. So, um, and then I only did one row on each of the rectangles of the um, shawl, uh, kimono cardigan wrap that I'm making. But I'll show you that in a minute real quick. It's just so pretty. I am loving it. But I want to get these socks done. So I'll, I'll work on this like a row or two later today after I get the sock to a certain point. And then I'll go back to this. But yes. And I did time myself. And it does take me a full hour to crochet across the row. Isn't that just so pretty? I'm loving it. That's the one. And then the other one is the same colorway and the same dye lot, but it's funny because, I mean, it's funny to me. It's unique, super unique. Because this one, see how this one is started? And the other one is green and blues, and this one is blues and rust. I think it's so cool. And then there's purple down here. I don't know if I was in the purple the other day when I showed y'all. Was I? I don't remember. And there's the purple. Purple with the maroon. I just, I think it's so cool. So it's going to be really unique because the one starts out a totally different color family than this one. So it'll be pretty cool. So there's that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else else right now i don't think i have any happy mail to show oh hang on a second i do have something to show you okay so i went to the dollar tree on friday because i needed some wrapping stuff or packaging stuff for the wedding gift that we went to the wedding reception it was really sweet um they were so happy to see us they were just tickled pink and we were tickled that they were so tickled anyway i got these little craft clips six of them for a buck i mean you can't beat it and i will be using that in um because they've got the i haven't opened it up yet but they've got the protection on here on the end see that see that so i'm thinking it will work for um using them to put whole two pieces together to seam them i'm thinking i'll definitely use them in my diamond pin too to hang up the the diamond painting on a hanger so that'll be good and then I need something for my furls hooks because they don't fit in my crochet holder and I ran across this it's a pencil and brush organizer and I'm certain that the holes in them will fit just fine so I thought that was cool so just got to figure out where I'm going to put it but yeah so my furls hooks can be on display and ease of obtaining and get rid of the boxes because the boxes were getting kind of trashed already especially my h hook where is my h hook one yeah look at this there's my h hook i mean that poor box <laughs> so much i've used it because i always slide it in there when i'm not working with it so those are the things i got at the dollar tree i think that's all i got there craft wise all right, so we need a question for the day, don't we? Hmm. Let me think. I will be right back. Okay, I've got it. So, what, for the weekly giveaway, here's your Monday's question. What is my favorite genre of television show to watch? Is it comedy? Is it drama is it crime shows 
and that includes like forensic files um, and like criminal minds type or none of the above okay so we've got comedy drama crime shows or none of the above answer in your comments and I will post this question with the answers in the description box so that's it for today I hope you all have a great Monday and remember I love you all be kind be blessed stay blessed ciao for now Mwah!